Now I want to talk about linear expressions and what like terms are and remembering that we must use order of operations. So first of all, I want to talk about like terms. When you look at an expression or an equation, the you want to see can I add, can I multiply things together? In terms of adding, you must be able to have like terms. This is not like terms because we have two being added to the number four times something else. This x is standing for some unknown number. And so this cannot be simplified any further. It would be exactly the same thing that it is right now. When you compare it to the expression underneath it, we have the same numbers and letters involved, but in a different order. And so, again, we have the number 4, but we cannot add it to this 2x because it does not have an x attached to the 4. If it had an x attached to the 4 or to the 2 up here, then we could do the addition. So let's look over here. This 8 plus 4x is exactly the same thing that's going on over here. I can't, these are not like terms, so I cannot combine them. But up here, this is the distributive property. And this is something that I can do. And this is a matter of taking what's being multiplied on the outside and distributing it to each of the pieces on the inside. So this new answer here, or simplification, would become 4 times 2 is 8 plus 4 times x, which is 4x. So if we look, if I were asking you then to say which of these four expressions are equal, then you would have to finally say that these two are actually equal. So because they are the same thing when they are simplified, and that's as far as we can go. If I had these choices, and if I ask you which of these are equal to each other, let's see what we come up with. And then I have 4 times 5x plus 6x and 5x time, no, no, excuse me, that's a plus Four parenthesis plus six x plus four. Okay, let's see what we can do to simplify any of these. This is already in its simplest form, so I can't do any more with that. But this, here are like terms. You see how each of these is being combined by addition, but they're all attached to the letter x. So I can add these together. 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 6 is 15, and they were all attached to the x. So actually right now, this and this are equal to each other because this is what this became. Let's look over here and see what this would simplify to. This is that distributive property again, so we're going to distribute this to each piece. So 4 times 5 is 20, and it gives us 20x because we had the x. And 4 times 6 is 24, but it also had the x. So this can be added together, which would then become 44x. So that does not equal any of that. So then we'll go down here. Now, because this is all combined with addition, we can get rid of looking at these parentheses. And then we can see, do we have any like terms? And we sure do. This 5x and the 6x are like terms. They can be added together. So 5 plus 6 is 11, and we still have the x. We keep the plus sign, and then we have 4 plus 4. Those are like terms, not because they are 4, but because they are just a number by themselves. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So that is what this simplifies to. So the two that are the same are this one and this one.